Yep. We are live. All right. All right. Welcome, everybody, to the second community game night hosted by us here. I'm Tins, and uh, we have Iron with me tonight to cast again. We're very lucky. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to our second community games. Yeah. The first time, I think it was a was a great success. So we hope to be uh, giving as good as of information, as good as of show as we did last time. I'm sure a lot of the community nice runners and you know, it's like an introduction to casting as a rule, like great matches that night. And uh, hoping to see some more tonight. But we got the first two teams lined up here, almost ready to go. What uh, bands have we got for the first match here, Ryan? Yes. So team one, what will be called Exotic Fish, have banned Dojo for the match, and team two, what will be called Hen Till You Quarrel. F bands Persia food. So those will nice. be extra on top of their bands in the game. So we will have four bands each team, uh, four bands total, two bands each team. Awesome. Yeah, that's a, how we run in this. We have, yeah, like I said there, we have the two bands before the match starts and then we just draft as normal, so that's four bands total. Uh, so I guess we'll just see if the teams are ready to go. Yes, yes, yes. I think they're still waiting on one player to join the PC, but then we should be all good to go. All right, so we're just waiting for that. So what are you expecting to see in terms of drafts today, Iron, in, uh, from these two sides here? It's going to be interesting. It's a, a lot of players that never play together, really. That's so, how, that's how that's how for sure, I, I think it's going to be everyone trying to get their comfort picks here. I hope we have like the defenders and supporters mixed well into the team, so we're not really sure. Yeah, we, just, we don't have a clue what, what we've got matched up tonight, but uh, hopefully it's going to be some fair games. And uh, yeah, I remember I last one. Good. I hope the teams can manage it together. I remember the last one we had uh, like a complete whitewash in the first game, and then uh, the, the uh, second game the team actually came back and did well. So that's what, that's what we like to see. What have we got going on in the chat? So we've got I'm famous on Twitch. Yeah, there you go. From Munchlax there. <laughs> we go, we About go, to get in, cooked. Right. <laughs> Good luck. How fun you? <laughs> How many more seconds can we give Cherry King? No casting for him tonight. <laughs> He's done himself, he's done himself here. So I guess we have to be to stall it a little bit longer then. We will be all good to go in a few minutes then. So hopefully what we want is uh, the winner of this match after a best of three to then take on a third team which will be uh, coming in later with a few extra players that are joining later on. So uh, it should be a fun night of action here. We'll be giving out a point to each team for each win. And, uh, that's how we're going to run things this evening. So, uh, whichever team team name has the uh, most points at the end of the night, we'll uh, be taking the win. Yes. Yeah, so it won't be just the best of three. It will be three games each time. So it can be three nil. It can be two one, one two. Either way around, you will play all three games every single time. Lucas in the chat. You guys are taking so long. We have to start to turn on cameras and doing the chicken dance. <laughs> I want to see that. Get, get me some of that action there. Yeah. Should we just switch over to that? Ah, uh, yes. I'm gonna. Yeah, can I, I cannot watch it and I have to leave the cast of it. Ah, uh, no, we can't have that. Not again. You'll never get back. Not like last time. Yeah, so. If you, if you want to join this wonderful community game, head on over to the Discord link. You can maybe even play in Team 3 later on tonight, and otherwise you could actually join for the next one. We'll be hosting these a lot more in the season of UCS. Yeah, it's something we'd like to do monthly. I sure we did one back in uh, back in the start of May, so now we're doing this one in June. We're just going to keep tr keep trying to keep it going and keep growing it, and hopefully grow the team. And things will just get bigger and bigger, and we'll have more teams involved and things like that. So, yeah, thanks for everyone coming out to play tonight. We really appreciate the support, and uh, yeah, it's just going to get bigger and better. Definitely. So keep in mind, Urshifu and Dojo are already banned. What else do you think will be banned in here? <sighs> I'd like to see a Lapras ban. I think that thing is really, really strong right now. Yeah, I also think probably the Umbrian band, obviously we are loud Umbrian, yeah. and that's really, it can be a menace in the field right now. Of course, yeah. So I definitely yeah. think those two are definitely bands you should consider, but otherwise if you don't bend the Lapras, it should definitely be your first pick. Yeah, I do agree with you there, my friend. Still going to Chen, right? So Umbrian and Lapras are both on the table here. We'd love to see it. Let's see what's going to be picked up by uh, Remus here. Are they going to pick up the Clefable to really go counter Divey? With the slow bro gone, obviously, that yeah. will allow them to pick up a lot of ashy kind of Pokemon because they have nothing to counter it with. Urshifu is off the table, though, so Water Bear will not be a problem. Alright, so they do lock in the Clefable, and an instant Leprous and Comfy are being locked in. That's a really, really strong combo. Yeah, yeah. that is. Can't wait to see that in action tonight. What are we going to see now from Cherry King and Inky on the left side here? 
and uh, Eskian. Eskian steal a really yeah. good Pokemon, of course. Very good early game. We're going to see Zora clocked in. That thing incredibly yeah, strong right now. Yes, two routines could be a really dangerous move. Uh, but for me, it could be to see if we should be good. Oh, we're gonna see it. Greninja locked in from Sev. The Crusher. And the Crusher. What are we gonna see from Dina now? Is it gonna be that? Oh, they're gonna look in the glacier. That would be a no. powerhouse of a team. But it can't be uh, Icicle Spear, remember? That is banned, so this for safety, mate. Might... They're picking in the Sylveon. Icicle Spear still gives me still a big burst of damage. But True. they do look in the Sylveon in the end. Not bad. I can't wait to see what we've got here. Uh, this is not a tournament, we are hosting our second uh, community games. This is uh, a thing we host in Tim's uh, his Discord channel. Uh, we'll be just commentating this. So just some friendly games between a bunch of Pokemon Unite lovers in mixed teams. Yeah. That's basically all it is here. Just having some fun. Love to see it. Alright. So, bro, yeah. I'll go for the home team, you go for the uh, away team. Of course, of course. Why do you always give me the heart? You <laughs> I can't wait to see what we've got here. Some really good teams. Alright, so we have on the top side uh, Remus on the Clefable, Inky on the Espeon, Cherry King on the Zorok, Severin on that Greninja, and Munch on the Crossel. And that is on the other side. We will have Teeps on the Fox, Sabi on the Garchomp, Lucas on the Lapras, Feet on the Country, and Venom on the Sylveon. So a really, really good team if I have to say so myself, but so yeah. does the top side. The top side is a little bit more squishy, but definitely has a lot of damage output. That's for sure. And we'll also know see what we get. with that Garchomp, that gets online early, we know what it can do. Oh yeah, Garchomp can be a pain in the ass for sure. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Who's going to... So it seems like the Delphox will be in the jungle for the orange side. And the Zora for the blue side. That means a laning ninja. Yeah, we see Sev going top lane with that ninja, so we probably might see a water shuriken there, but we'll have to wait and see. And on the bot side here, Lapras. As well as the the Garchomp will be laning as well. So some some people that some ones that really need the levels are going into the in the lanes this time around. We might see some jungle switches after the first rotation. Yeah. So we see the Lapras on the bot lane with like I think that's the Sylvie on there. Ooh, and he is taken out. He's taken down. For the blue team. Huge from Inky and Munch there. And the Crossel can't quite get a score in. Ooh. Jungler seems to be rotating top side. Yeah. As Sabi is taken down, and that would be an instant kill on Teeps as well. Uh, on Feeps as well. No, he does get away. Ooh, that's close there. Zorok is almost popping off early game. They yeah, do manage to get back. If he would have gone straight away, he should definitely have, t have taken the Comfy down as well. Yeah, so we have the positioning for this for this this top bees instantly. We see Cherry take up most of those bees there. And Sabi has to back off. He wants to get that five nice and early to get the Dragon Rush online. Yes, as well. As on the bot lane, they are just stacking and dealing damage to each other. It's quite an even field so far, besides the one kill on the Lapras, of course. Yeah. As the ninja is actually invading here. Oh, we'd love to see did that from Severin. Did, did, did he get that? The blue buff. Yeah. Oh, it's... Here comes Dean and they're trying to sort out the. Uh, is he going to be able to take down Severin? No, he manages to escape. And they all walk away with their lives. Just about. We've only seen one KO right so far. Well, here comes Savvy yes. with that comp. No, we have seen two, both one on both uh, both sides. The Lepros has been taken out as well as the Guardian so far, but now comes the Mithis. Yeah. It seems like the orange side is all there already. Yeah, the they're going to take up. Oh, I think charlie has got the big one though. Just. Oh, and there comes big damage coming in from Ooh, teams. Down they goes the Guardian. The Trussell and Espion looking to get in there. And here comes Sabi top. Of damage on the there. Sabi's managed to get a big dunk in on top there for 43 big points with the Comfy attached. Get some wonderful points in return, but. Uh, yeah. No, not in return. The Orange Height were taking the kills and the points there. Yeah, they're 53, 53 to 4 in the lead, sorry. Right, as we will see what the rotations will look like, will we see a bottom Reggie fight coming in, or do we see blue side popping up for the Alekian? As it seems like there will be still three people on the top side. Yeah, they've got a few big points in there to level up the score. They're just now nine points behind. Orange is not rotating one side. 
it's got a huge bunch in the butt side there, leaving just half points, points. But we see big X's are coming, nearly taking out Lupus. Can they pick him up? Lupus is getting really mm. low down for already secured the bottom red in the meantime we see the, the rip the guard chunk gives you yeah especially with that comfy on there as well like it doesn't give you a lot more damage but sometimes it's just enough you know yes and in the meantime cherry is just on the end of the top side that should go in and we'll leave the goal on three if it doesn't if it does go in that's going to be a big overcap as well if he fancies it with his 30 points yes it does seem it will walk in it will be on three points a so cherry could get a 32 it's going to get more it's going to be a 34 overcap if he runs it in right now Ooh. big score there from cherry well played. Straight back in the game for the blue side. Yes, they will. It will instantly mean they will take over the lead. They probably don't even know it with how close it is right now. Yeah, it's really close. Oh, I mean, this is nothing compared to the last game, remember, when it's just a complete whitewash in the first uh, community yes, game. Do, as you do have a little brawl in the mid side as the Leprous is being taken Leprous down. Leprous is down again, though. We just are, see that. Is Orange fancying more of this fight, or are they going to retreat the team? Just back up here. They've still got a goal zone with 80 points on the box side there. They're going to just pick up this far. But here comes Cherry. He's going to cause some trouble with level 11 on the Zorog. So dangerous. Yes, we all know what that Zorog can do. Even if Night Test isn't available, the other move is still so dangerous as well. That's for sure. You know, I can't call this at the moment, bro. It's such a good game. I'm, I'm engrossed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's a really, really good and close Ooh, game. Teep's got low there, but he manages to eject out with the help of a flame charge. Here comes Savvy with the comfy. It, it seems like they will do a big push towards the bot tier. Yeah, Severin at the it's top like, there, though. It's a Russell. It's being caught out a little bit, but he does manage to get away. Big ult from the comfy as well. That's pushing back the blue side onto their goal zone here. Severin does get a big meantime, cap. While the blue team is just stalling, they do get 40 points in the top tier 2 and the whole jungle is being taken by Seferin. They will will lose to Reggie once more, but blue is taking over the map right now. Yeah, Savvy is just... Oh, oh huge oh, steal from Charlie. That's yeah. <laughs> a steal. And then comes Seferin from behind. Seferin. This is looking like it's going to be a clean up from the side here. Big surf. They take down all the damage there. I love to see that surf print in you know, it's fallen out of the meta a little bit, but played well. It but Sabi do so does take down the Clefable in the in the flux zone, so that's a big pick up for them as well. Has he overextended here though with Cherry? Look at that damage. Oh big damage. Then just one just combo. Insane. One combo and a hit from the Espeon and down he goes. Delphox is left on the loan with Teeps there, can he defend? It seems like they still keep their, their pet intact at least. Still on 80 points, but the blue side is looking for it. It's only yep. the Leprous right now, but the guard jump is coming in there. And there is a Regilecki up here, still untouched, but there's a yes. big invade from Sharon into the yes, red side. It will cost him his Ooh. life this time around. That's some big catch up here to be there for Dina and the Sylvia. Yes, the Sylvian almost hitting the level 12. Inky just sat down here on that SB on defending this goal zone all game. Yes, the levels are slightly in favour for the blue side with already a level 13 as well as a level 12, while the orange side is only having one level 12 so far. As Teeps and the Comfy come up here to start the Lecky, but Clefable is rotating up as well. Remus on that Will Clefable. Will Orange take the They do take down the Crustle, it's only the Espion left Ooh, of the just, just a one point overcap. Yes, it's a small overcap, but they at least... Like, they get a little bit of the pressure release there. As, that's Tabby mm. going in on Seferin. He might, low, he might have been able to do it there with one. the... Uh, with the healing. Ooh, is he going to catch Severin? Did the Clefable, did the Clefable steal that Reggie Lecky there? It must have, or maybe it was Cherry again. I didn't actually quite see Cherry that. Cherry was on pad, it was the Clefable first. Oh, the Remus. There. Remus OP. <laughs> but we will see one more bottom Reggie before we head over yeah. to Kwasa. What will it be? A Reggie Rock, a really good buff for both teams to go into Kwasa with. But as we see, it's only Savvy here from the orange side. There's Sylveon and Lapras making their way in now. Yes. But, uh, as, as Teeps and the Comfy are still on the top side defending against the Lecky. It's a good 3v3 here. Someone will have to start it soon or it will... It seems like they might actually let it reset. It's coming in right now. Yeah, this is they have to be careful yeah, here. They're keeping the person right there. You don't want to get killed just here, but uh, that's a good uh, good move there from the Lapras on Severin to uh, stop him from pushing in there. Yes, so the bottom Reggie will not be taken, but if you look to the HP bars of everything, the blue team is way healthier. Yeah, with that Clefable. Right now. And Severin is close to a 15 yeah. Yeah. on that Greninja. But uh, yes, that Greninja I'd say the orange side has better positioning here, just for now. They do, but one Greninja ult, one Zoroark. Yeah, Zora, okay. initiate and we will. It's a, it's a change of a fight. Absolutely. Team, just see Teeps poking away here at the uh, position. 
the music is in the lead here. Yeah. Uh, Jerry is actually dragging out the team there as well. Two people Oh, he's low, he's low. Now he has a fight. He's really low. Sylvian. Oh, he's one shot. Oh, oh he's down. He does go down. But Orange or Blue keeps on having to pressure the goals. Orange is baiting it. They could have taken the Reggie at their quasa by now, but they initiate for the fight. It's a big ult from Sabi. Inky's just walking around him. He's trying to get to Inky. There comes Remus with the heels. Oh, big from Sabi down here. Takes down the Clefable and he's but going. Orange, Orange also takes down the Greninja. They are able to take the Squasa if they, if they go for it. But they, Ooh, two they kills from Sabi. They ought to go for the scores here. Lupus going for a score. Will he be able to get it in? Chari is coming in. Oh, oh so close. Oh, 100 like points in. That's huge. Orange though. is in the lead now. And they only have to defend here. If Chari's down. Jury, that means they will pop in another hundred in top oh, side, right. as well as some Arnson in the mid. Wow, <laughs> that's a big surrender. Blue will surrender. Ooh. That's a, that's a, that was a really good game. That's a hell of a game. Blue, I really felt Blue was doing so well most of the game. Really good game. That was so, so tense at the end though, I didn't know which way that was going. Like, both so teams is, playing really well. So that is one nil for him to you quarry. The lovely team name of the are inside here. Awesome. Let's have a look at some stats. 77k from Dean in there on the uh, Sylveon, and the same from Sabi. That was S, same as Sabi, and obviously the Clefable with the big, big heels. Almost 90k there. Remus on that Clefable, doing bits for the blue side. Very nice play from everybody. Six kills from Sabi, six from Dean, and seven from Severin. Very well played to everyone. Definitely, that was a really good first game. Nobody took Ray. No, you don't need it if you no. win the team fight. That's true. We are ready to do it. Awesome, thank you James. Right, we are ready, let's get back let's into, get into this next then. game. We are flying through. Yes, Band it's phase. Going nice. It's oh, going nice it. and quickly like this. So I do think we might see another slow bro then as well as maybe even a dojo. Again? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a definitely a big trap. Thank you for the follow, Thierry. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for popping in. You said it, right, Dojo. A Dojo and a Shendi. Two big damage mons off the table there. So what we're going to see for the first pick from Teeps here. Are we are going straight back Straight in. Table. Clef again. Thanks for the follow, Sam. Much appreciated. Mate. So what are we going to see from Chari and Inky locked in here? We will get another Espion. Very what nice else? pick again. Yep, yeah, we're doing customs tonight, Thierry. A mine! A mine. Ooh, he might run nice. out of time because he was busy too, till the last second. That is true. What are we going to see I from Savvy? I am surprised we haven't seen the A9 coming out yet. It's been no. pretty good. Uh, so we see a Slobo locked in from Lupus and Azorok and, and Savvy. Interesting. That is good because they've got the Slobo and the Zorok there. Dangerous. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure if we will have uh, another space for it this night, but definitely for another night you can. Just exclamation mark Discord to join the Discord server, we will host them over there. As we see our Delphox and a Blissey locked in from Munch and Sever in there. And what we're going to see, Garchomp again. And another Sylphian it seems like. A bit of a same team coming out for... Same sort of team coming out for... Yeah, Dean for knocking in that. you quarrel. <laughs> Dino on that Sylveon was also was also impressive, you know. I, I think that went underrated last game, but Dino on that Sylveon did real work. Took out Charo a number of times on that dangerous Zorok. Underrated. Very well played to Dino last game. Both moveset of Sylveon are definitely really strong in different situations. Oh, we have, we have an interesting team cop here. Yeah, this is a really squishy team coming out there from Exotic uh, what Exotic Fish and Chips. <laughs> from the Exotic Fish and Chips, yeah. You're gonna love these team names. <laughs> Three attackers, two supporters. Uh, you only oh, see mine, it in customs. Mine can be a defender, though. Not True. Gonna lie. Zephyrin on the Pikachu, that's something I didn't expect to see tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing it though. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have to say, I'm gonna give it the hand till your quarrel has a, a slightly the better team right here tonight in the second game. They're just so bulky, right? If it's gonna be the bulky Sylveon, which it looks like it, the focus band, you've got the Slowbro and the Clef. Definitely. And even the Garchomp is, is bulky, you know, when it gets going with those, uh, those autos. It's just the Zorark being the squishy one there, but with all of it Teshius, it can just get away from everything. But you know, on this bottom side, we love to see it. Okay, so Teep's on the Zorark. 
Sabi on the Garchomp, Loopy on the Slowbro, Phoebe on the Clefable, and Dina on the Sylveon. Cherokee on the Pokemon, on the Espion, Munch on the Mike, Zephyr on the Pikachu, and Remus on the Lizzie. Very so nice. No Crestle today. Thanks for the follow, Twitch guy. Much appreciated. Welcome in. Okay. Who's going to be jungling on the bot side? <laughs> it has to be Delphox for sure. I think so. I think it's going to be Delphox. And I think I think for the blue side it will be Sora to begin with, and then they will just switch it to the Garchomp. Just get the Sora online, and after that try to get the Garchomp online as quick as possible. Yeah. Teeps into the jungle. Yes, on the Zora. As well as Cherry, so yeah. it is the Fox and the Zora to begin with. And we see Sabi and Thebes top lane there with a Clef and the Garchomp, very dangerous to do it, with a Pika and the Blissey on the side yes. of the Reds. Definitely an interesting meetup on this on the top side with a again, oh, the like aggression. massive Ooh. damage earlier on. He already takes down the Clef Able there. With a, the Blissey. Uh, the Blissey, I mean. <laughs> yeah, there's two pink mons there running around, it looks the same, right? Definitely. <laughs> Especially if they haven't been involved yet. Okay, on the bot side. Like, but as it seems like both EVs are already online yeah. here. They are still waiting for the slow bro to become, or for the slow poke to become a slow bro, but he will get it from the back ball toy there. But we do see the Gabite online already in the top path. Sabi already getting there yes, this as time. Well as, as well as both junglers being top side once again, really mm -hmm. prioritizing that so far. Yeah, let's see if there's a fight and a breakout here for the mid bees. Sabi drags them all there with the Dragon Rush in, so... Oh, and there comes Steeps. Ooh, he's just... Big damage. Ooh, oh, damn. damn. Well, take, he takes down two, it's only Cherry. Oh, they're going to be able to push the balls over here. Takes a berry as well. There's some big points go in. That is 43 points and Teep scores. That is left on 18, well played to the blue side there. 62 points down the drain there. As Orange hasn't scored so far. As you see the bulky sideness coming out of the blue side, you know, it's just uh, they can't quite get so in. It's really hard to deal with, and if you don't, if you have something like a Sora coming over it, then with all of its damage, it's just really hard to play against. Especially if a team that Orange has, they are all quite squishy as well. That is true. Oh, here comes. As we see the Sora just fighting on the goal zone. His low though is getting low. He does steal another berry there. He's just he's no as he takes down the Chensi again. He's just on his, on his own to defend there, but Cherry comes in, but it's too late for. Oh, Cherry wants Teep to. He wants him. He wants him. He was too late to, oh, to save Zephyr, but he does take down Cherry. Gives a lot of XP back to the Orion side there. That was so like. Insane on the top half there, we completely missed the mid <laughs> Oh, yeah. I don't have Muddy for sure who actually took it in the end. I think it was Cherry to get the Delphox online, but I can't be certain. Probably after that he rotated to take down take down Teeps, I think, then. Makes the most sense there. Savvy almost getting the Garchomp online. Ooh. Are they Feeps is low. Feeps? They will yeah. take down Feeps. Savvy is next in line. He yeah. chopped him a little low, but he takes the berry and then he moves yeah. into them. It's really dangerous when a Garchomp Ooh. is getting into your face, he takes down a Pikachu. And he's just he's taken, taken down with Charon. By the Fox. As we see a big push on the bot side, 44 points go in. Make that 66. Oh, we lost track. 69 points? <laughs> Something 60, like that. 60, uh, 71 in total, I think. And now another if five. 76. It's on four, but Orange will take the top Mackie as the blue side will be taking the bottom Reggie. Yeah, that is three. Although there is three members of the uh, red side coming in. But they I do think have it's to gone. secure with the SP. Ooh, but it yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. The Sora secures it and the Pikachu is going down here. It's just up the mine and the SP to survive. It's just the mine next. But Cute. he will be next on the triple block here. Very nice. As we'll see, we will get a 31 over get from the bot side. Huge there from Teeps and the blue team. On the top side, the red, she did go in, but no one is able to Maybe Remus points. might be able to get a 30 in there, but I don't know if he has time. Oh, it would be a, be a zero over cap. I guess they would. It seems like the blue side is going for that tier one on the top side now. So they put pressure up with four men, with the guard from just farming the jungle right now. But Orange is going full five men to defend here. But the Blissey is already taken down. There comes the Delphox Ulti. Ooh, they've overextended possibly here. The damage on the orange side is quite huge though. You see them yes. just shredding. The Slowbro can heal a lot, but he will go down in the end. As Peeps is getting chunked down by one... Mr. by one... It's Mystical Fire, right? Yeah, <laughs> Mystical Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like taking out half HP with one Mystical Fire. You need more Delphox games, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. You're in a support coming out of it. You see a lot of rotation here from the uh, blue team heading yeah, towards the bottom. Purple has a lot of CC with the Slowbro, to be fair. The Slowbro and even the Zorox. 
the Zora Kate stuns you as well as the Dragon Rush from the Garthold. So there is definitely some system. You see the blue side moving like really well together as a team, which is quite quite interesting to see, you know, in on a community games. It's just almost yeah, moving as a five. To get it, well. it seems like Orange will group up to go for it as well, but Blue is already waiting. They want these bees. Lupus locks that one in, I think. The uh, the big it's one. It's dangerous to run away with a with a Delphox just chasing you with those yeah, like this. charge physical fires. You see Lupus gets chunked, it does get away. Ooh, right. closer. The Fable ulti came out, it's a block, so it's not the most useful thing in the world. Ooh, and there comes the Pika ulti, that was a crazy ulti taking down. With the Delphox ulti as well. Yes, but both kills went over to the Delphox, no, no kills yet for the Pikachu there. As we see the uh, orange side really going in for this regular because they want uh, to get one of these objectives. There goes the Sylphion and the Garchomp, it's just it's just the Zorak left. Very nice. What can the Zorak do? It's still alive, it's still kicking. Phoebes and Lucas came in as well. It's still going. Oh, oh that it's it dead after all. A slow bro, hooting the Delphox, but with no support, it doesn't do anything. And the orange side clear up with nobody going down there. Cherry went very low, but does manage to get out. Are we going to see some points going in? No. Because here comes Savvy and the whole of the blue team to defend. Still a Regilecki on the top half, untaken. Yes. The blue side is just walking up so far. Orange had a good fight in Regilecki. It's mostly the blue side taking it. After the Regilecki, they were still not able to score a point in the bot side. And that's just the problem here, right? The, uh... Orange side have got so much attack power, but they just can't seem to get a score in. But we do see Cherry is the highest level in the game at the moment after that start, so he's farming he really a, well. He has a few massive kills there, really giving him all the XP. And there comes the Zoro oh. arc. He's trying, but he does not take down the Pikachu and is taken down in return for it. Cherry doing some serious work. As the mine is going to get a 40 point cap in the bot lane there, munch on that mine. It's a lovely little score, but he might be taken down. There comes the Garchul. Will he get away? Savvy is hunting. <laughs> Will he get away? The Fox is trying to get to him, but he has to go through the, through the slow bro first, but it seems like the mine will be taken down here. Maybe he'll get away. He's got a confusion ready. Where is he going? <laughs> He's going to make it. <laughs> we believe, we believe. <laughs> Savvy just can't get him. Oh, lucky. <laughs> so close. He, he did raise a lot of value. That it? gave me some amusement. There's a fight breaking out here. I can't stop laughing. Kwasa <laughs> is also up on the table right now. Mm. The Huge ult. Two oh, goes down. Loyalty. Huge mystical fire from Cherry taking down two members. Three yeah, down. the support and the fuel carry. It's just the slow brain. Lupus Antiques backing up from Cherry here. He's doing so much work on that mystical fire. 15, level 15. Oh. I'm just blocking him. Oh, the Pikachu and locks it in. With the secure Huge. Love to see it. Quite an unorthodox team from the uh, orange side, but they made it look, made it work really well after the early game. Definitely. They were definitely the squishy team, but they knew exactly how to play around that and they were taking, taking down the Pikachu. It's still close though. For each other. We see a minute left, but it's still close. So but the Delphox is still having the shield, and on the top side they're still farming and scoring as well. That's true. The Teach is there, he's broken the shield. Mon does get another 7 in. The Blissey is coming in as well with a 450 points with shield. Yeah, oh, and Cherry as well. All of Blue is trying to take down the mine again. They always have to bully this Mr. Mine. <laughs> they don't want Munch have an MVP for the second game in a row, that's why. <laughs> yeah, Blue, as they do another 100, but like it's a 50 or 150 point deficit to a 300 point lead that Delphox is doing. Huge. Delphox insane. And so is the all of the orange side. Brilliant play from Exotic and Fish and Chips. Support. Is that a 1 1? No, that's a 2 0. Right? It's a 2 0, right? Oh, I thought Savvy's team won the first game on the Garchomp, then. Ooh, no, I have to. I'm not even sure on that. Where's, where's our admin? <laughs> Which team was Lupus on? That one won the first game. <laughs> but yeah, it's an extra one point here. Let's have a look at some stats here. 138k damage from Charity. Oh, the Delphox was the most 
most dangerous one I've seen so far tonight. Absolutely insane. We see 66k heal from Thebes on the left side there. Toop 61k damage. Toop 71. 75 from Sarah. I'll play to everybody again. This is a 1-1. One, one. So we go into for a deciding match here. One point to each team. Well played so far. Jeez, you have to hydrate as well. Quick, if you don't stop, I will give you a, an air time. <laughs> Quack sat there patiently waiting for his game through. We have confirmation that the game is already. Thank you very much, James. The, third, the final game of the first series. Alright, so Lapras Urshifu off the table. Let's see what the yes. next two bands are. What are you expecting, I? If I am the orange team, I, I would definitely bend the Delphus and I would not let that go into Cherry's hands again. Absolutely. On the other side, it's probably going to be like. Something like a dojo again. Yeah, we've because seen a lot of dojo want... bands. But probably, but blue side is probably going to do the CND because if Orange bends the Delphox, we will just see Cherokee run on the freaking dojo, and nobody wants to see that either. <laughs> Absolutely not. Cherry's just a nightmare on so many mons. What no, a, what I a player. would even be surprised if we get a uh, the Fable bend though. Delphox, Dojo. The Ursifu and the Delphox. And the Lapras, and the Dojo. And the Ursifu. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the Ursifu. You called it though, Delphox Dojo. Yeah, but that means we will indeed see another Fable that probably triggers... I don't know, it won't trigger the Zorok on the other side, right? I mean, Zorok's been a pain so far, but there's always been a mom that's just... The is instantly coming out though. Ooh, Teeps and... be waiting for it. There it is. But will they pair it up with a Comfy though? Comfy's definitely dropped off a little bit since the burps, but... Came in clutch in the first game though. Well. Yeah, they've picked it all. Yeah, so are, we the return of the, the, are we gonna see the return of the crossover? Yeah, hey, you can slash me. And Love they're it. finally gonna bring out the Umbreon. Yes. I expected it way earlier. Yeah, I was waiting for it all night. No one banned it. Oh, is he a T-Tar locked in? T-Tar comfy. Ooh. My old favourite iron, we used to cause some trouble with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is they gonna, are they gonna lock in the SP of the Sijuai? Ooh, is it gonna be? This is gonna be some insane poke damage there. Oh, she's feeding. Is going to have to look in. Is he going to look in his uh, favorite Sylvia? His favorite Sylvia. Is it going to be the Glacier? It cannot be Icy Spear, don't forget. It has to be Icy Wind for sure, but still, that gives you a lot, a lot of burst there. I guess we do get the Glacier Ice Cold Wind. In. That's Ice true. Wind. Is James still here? I think James will be in the Atkins spot, right? I was, no, gonna... he is still here. He's just... I was just going to see if you could go and ask uh, the right side just to make sure that no Ice Crystal Spear is banned, but we'll just hope for the best that Dean knows. I think they should know. They should know. Which we'll we'll see him. I see him coming. He is going to be so... What are you thinking, uh, looking at these two sides then here, Ian? What, what's your predictions? It's going to be another one of the same match, basically, as the last one. It's, it's going to be the blue side with having a lot of poke, a lot of damage, but still being a bit squishy. And the right side is just a bit more bulky, but they also have a lot of damage with the glacier and the Chandelure. For sure. So, on the top side we see Remus on the Clef, Severin on the Aegis Slash, Munch on the Crustle, Inky on the Espeon, and Chari King on the Decidueye. On the bottom side, we will have Teeps on the Chandler, Sabi on his Tita, Lupus, Lupus on the Umbrian, Teeps on the Comfy, and Deenan on the Glacian. A different evolution, but another gold badge for Deenan. Gold badge on the Glacian. Oh, has Deenan got every gold badge on the Eevees? Eevee Eevee Master. We want to see Deenan on the Amber on them. Where's that gold badge? <laughs> if he has that, he's got my respect. <laughs> and mine. He's got my respect already, that Sylveon was causing yeah, problems. The Sylveon game is very insane. Alright, let's see what we will get. I suppose it's going to be a... No, Titar is going top lane. Chandler will be in the jungle. Same goes for the Decidueye. Yeah, Cherry on that Decidueye, straight in the jungle. Top lane, we have Sev on the Aegis Slash and Remus on the Clef. Don't cause some trouble together again. So it will be another Teeps versus Cherry jungle matchup, as we have seen all night long. Both sides on the top lane going for the stacks. They just managed to sneak one in. Already causing trouble with Sabi and the Comfy on their top there. Sabi's also out securing the Clefable, obviously. And on the bot side, we have Munch on the cross with Inky on that Espion. Oh, Lupus is really, really low. Point. That kill on Lupus no oh, they way. don't take it. So they low. Really but that will mean. Are they gonna. Cherry isn't going back for it. Cherry could have had the easiest kill of his life, but they just let Lupus live. Maybe they didn't see him. Oh, there was so a miscommunication there. 
the Severin evolves there into the Dooblade, but he's get, dropping very low. Will he be able to get out of this? Oh, he's really low. Goes down. Down goes uh, Savvy as well, though, on the Tita. In the top side, we see a little like, stalemate, like the Eevee's online. Well, there, there's one not online, though. I forgot there were two Eevees on the bot side. I think Lucas will be getting himself online now, though, with that little bit of farm. Yeah. Yes, there is the Umbreon as well. All Evolutions in close now. Glaceon and Umbreon on the bot side. It'll be interesting to see how uh, Glaceon manages without the, uh, the uh, blue buff. Unless that's the plan. Ah, I guess he just has to keep on hitting people. <laughs> yes, true. Easier said than done with a squishing one. Definitely. So Sabi is going into the mid. It seems like Warrens is the first to join yeah. the mid side. Every so player. Under Siege are all coming in though. But they will be a bit late. But Vegas yeah, is just going in and goes down. With the Siege right with the snipe towards the Glacier but nearly misses him. We see a Ford Bristol this time around. Lucas is going really low. He managed to survive so far. Because they do get low both. Yeah, we're going to see that war causing major problems, keeping Cherry safe, just firing off his arrows constantly. Or it will be used to trap people so Cherry can wipe them out with his arrows. them, yeah, for sure. So, together with the Espion sign demon, there could be some insane damage coming out in for the sure. wall. Ooh, it's... There you see the power of the Umbrian with the wall, almost taking down the Espion. It's just a just to get out with their life there. Those, those starts on Cherry King are doing so much damage to take yeah. around everyone. Lucas is down. The does go down now. The Glacian is on the corner of the HP right now as well. As we see the top side, there are bullying Sabi on the pad here right now. They still can't score though with that Pomfrey on there. Oh, 17 Aegis points goes in. Get, Aegis Legend does get another stack in. But his buddy does die, but means that it's a potential pickup for the Jupiter here. And we completely and missed this on the bot. Sephirin does walk away from the air. We completely missed the fight on the bot side here, 3v3. Was it a fight or was it just one team securing? <laughs> Might have been. I know at least the blue side did secure it. They have to secure with Spirit Check or with the Psybeam, of course. For sure. As well as the Aegis Slash with the. with his, <laughs> with his move. <laughs> Forgot how it's caught. Ah, uh, Sacred Sword. Indeed. So close to taking down Teeps there. As we see everyone rotating up here, Glaceon and Cross will just uh, maybe making their way up. Munch is just staying there. <laughs> Defending that bot goal. Yes, as the Aegis Nash is just keeping everyone Ooh. busy, taking down the Cupidar. Going in. Aegis Nash still doing some great work there. As here comes the Glaceon just in time, takes down the uh, Espeon. Big ult from the Glaceon as well. Oh, seven's really there low. goes the Aegis Flash by now. Huge took, from Dean. It took them a while, but they're taken down at the end. Rune's dropping low. Three killstreak from Dean and on that Glaceon. Huge. Yes, the Glaceon still rips everyone's boards for sure. And that's the Icy Wind build. It's still good. If you can keep the shards off, it's just still so strong, of course. Definitely. But will we finally see a team making move for the Regilecki? Oh, Munch pushing down here. Sappy just going straight through that shield. It seems like Orange will just rotate to the bottom side for the bottom Reggie. Don't care. They don't care about the top Lecky anymore. Let me see Cherry. Look at that damage. Oh, they, oh, they will go for just a 3 0 for Cap. But they will make sure the Lecky will go to the, towards the tier 2. So the Orange will take down the tier 1 and watch for it, I believe. Yeah, big points just rained in. Oh, no. They haven't quite broken it. They will get a 40 pointer in. Uh, Shandy gets it in. That means there's a 32 overcap if I'm correct. I believe it was. Bot, but I think Orange will be taking down Red Team for you right No, they backed off. Blue is just going to score in the tier 2. And also, the uh, it has gone in. The Red yes. Lecky, so they've scored some big points there. So it's just up on to Crustle to defend right now, with Jerry on the other side in the jungle. Keeps is looking in the jungle as well. Oh, Savvy's so close to getting big points in there. This is a big, big push. Ooh, there went the Aegis Lash, which burst down. More points right the blue side and they will... Leave this on the, four. Yeah, they will put the bottom goal on four if the Glacian comes back. No, it should definitely not come back here. <laughs> oh, Lucas has been caught there though. Big ult. Savvy is still there. Will he be able to get away? Oh, double ult also from the Keita as well, right? Ouch. Ult from Cherry as well. Oh, Lucas is caught. Can he make it away? Comfy's keeping him alive he is somehow. Alive so long. Oh. But he will go down in the end. Will Feeps be able to go down to the 
The basic is running for a time now, but there's the Shendi. Will he oh, help? Word. But he does take down the Aegis. Three player. kills from Severin. Absolutely insane there on that. On that Aegis slash. Still doing Teeps, work. Teeps is going for the Deceptor. I need to eat him down. Teeps is popping off as well. As we see 73 points going in from the blue side. But, but just look at the levels. The Shendi is level 13, the highest level on the blue side is only 12. Well, yeah. the Oryx is also having two level 12. Teeps is popping off. Out, they're heavily out leveling the blue side here. I wouldn't want to have James's jobs picking an MVP from this game because I could at least pick four already. <laughs> Everyone is MVP. The winning team will be the MVP. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's been a great game so far. Unbelievable. All games have been really good. So <laughs> they have. I can't keep up. I'm trying to look everywhere, but <laughs> there's so much happening. As the orange side is looking for the bottom Reggie, the blue side is looking for the top Reggie. Yeah. No one is near each other here, so it's just going to be three Reggies all around. It's just a red ice though, so it's a great device, spot, but it's a to, I think they will let it go. The really, blue side is not having the points besides Jerry to make sure it's only Cherry. The Glacier has started it, but I think they'll make their way into the middle. He did he did make the he did make the Lucky hit his passive though, so he won't have the passive down, but they instantly initiate. Yeah, they have them outnumbered, Cherry. Take it down to you now. Yeah, blue side is in the lead. They are just backing up. But it is getting absolutely burned by the Glacier and the Chandelier. The Glacier and Chandelier are so deep. Ripping your subjective, they will not let them go in. They will yeah, just take this. They've just secured it up. Insane. That, that was an insane game, man. So good. Yeah, that 1 HP. 1 HP of the dream. How they let them rip. <laughs> yeah, lots of points raining in on the top there. Lots of hundos. Can they just back up and defend now with the orange side? Savvy is pushing towards that goal. He wants some points in. Is he going to get 38 in? No, he can't. Mm -hmm. It's been burnt by uh, Charry's ult there. Another 82 go in. Lupus is dropping very low, but he just can't quite comfy old. And that is a full wipe, a 500 point lead, and there comes the surrender. Oh, it's the surrender. Yeah, I mean, it gets, the game it gets the game's going faster for us, but absolutely GG's to both teams. I can't pick an MVP from that. I feel sorry for NB James coming in here in a minute after to do that job. Definitely, that was <laughs> a pretty insane team, uh, same, insane game. It definitely feels sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to pick an MVP out of these lot. It was so it honestly. Mean the team Hamtil you quarrel will take this in a 2 0 win. So they have two points, that means that they will be facing Team 3 next. Brilliant. And then the last game will be Team 2 versus Team 3. Awesome. Very well played. This whole stuff so far.